All right. Superstore, here we come. Hi guys, this is Matthias, and we are, for the first time ever, going to be focusing only on one area of the map in Warzone, and that is the Superstore. It's a place that I normally land on when I play this game uh, in squad, either three man or four man, but every once in a while, actually, no, let's be honest, it happens quite often that I land here even when I play solo. And that's what this video is going to be about. It's all going to be from solo landings. I'm going to put in maybe four, I don't know, five. I, ha I have quite a number of them. Um, maybe I'll keep it down a little bit not to make the video too long. Because as much as this place is rather intense, even in an intense game such as Warzone, any Battle Royale game has a tendency to have a lot of moments where you're just kind of sneaking around, hiding, and trying to find opponents while at the same time trying to stay hidden from them. Now this is a neat little trick that I've uh, done quite a few times. I uh, pick up a, um, a either a claymore or a proximity mine and I drop it basically at the same place where I find it and then I pick up my uh, regular grenades again. Now my favorite place to do this is if I have downed or if, if I've killed an enemy and he drops them you know obviously on his loot then uh, in in some cases, the claymore and the proximity mine can actually be somewhat hidden within the rest of the loot. And then when somebody comes there to pick up maybe an extra weapon, or if he drops down from Gulag and wants to pick up his stuff again, you know, you can actually deal some damage, or if you're lucky, again, get the kill. Now, many times when I've dealt damage with one of these proximity mines, it has been after I've basically forgotten that I dropped them there, and uh, I don't even know where on the map it happens. But as you will see in the next clip, at the very end of it, the explosion of the proximity mine actually gives away the position of an enemy, and of course it's also easier for me to kill him since he is already damaged from the explosion. So it really can work for you, and when it happens, even though it's rare, but when it happens, it is really, really satisfying. Now one of the things that you probably notice if you pay attention here is that I always, well, as much as I can anyway, use weapons that uh, use different types of ammo. Uh, normally those types of weapons are one assault rifle and one submachine gun. And that way you can carry enough ammo to make sure that you don't run out. If we could carry like four or five hundred bullets, then I might actually consider using two assault rifles for different uh, range, of course. But as it is now, I uh, yeah, I try to make uh, the SMG my close range weapon and my uh, assault rifle the mid range uh, rifle. And uh, yeah, obviously I try to avoid getting in in combat with snipers. Now, when it comes to your tactical. Uh, this is one of the things that gives me a hard choice. Um, I always I find that all the tacticals are actually quite useful, but especially in the beginning of the game, before people have their perks, which means that some of them are going to be invisible to uh, the heartbeat sensor. In the beginning, like this, the heartbeat sensor is really, really good. Now, I do understand that it makes sense not to use it at the end game because a lot of people are using the perk Ghost, and that way you don't pop up on the heartbeat sensor. But right after landing, everyone is going to show up if they are within proximity. So, uh, yeah, I suggest use it whenever you can find it. So, yeah, I really hope you will enjoy some gameplay here from the Superstore, my favorite spawn of all of the places on the map. Yeah, big thanks for watching.
Exciting. Okay, I got three. 